So look at this hypothesis. The closer a tomato plant's environment is to neutral acidity, the greater the growth will be. Now let's grade that based on the rubric that we, that we have. Is the hypothesis stated directly? Yes, there was no introduction. Uh, is, is it complete and concise? Yes. Is it praise? Is it an if-then statement? Well, not really, but it does establish a one-to-one -one relationship with the the more the more kind of thing. Uh, is the statement mentions only what's being tested and it does not introduce any other variables? Does she try to explain why this will lead to that? Here, no, she did that in the background, so this is better here. Variables are not described or discussed in the hypothesis. No, she doesn't talk about what growth is or what acidity is here. She just leaves that for the background. Um, is there a clear order of success for all groups? Yes, because she's talking about the fact that the closer you are to neutral, the better. So that means the further you are from that, the worse you're going to be. So that establishes a relationship that works in every case. Is it a testable statement that can possibly be falsifiable? Well, of course. There's a chance that she's wrong about it. And does she use operational definitions for the variables? Well, uh, does it make you seem, does it make you understand just by reading the hypothesis what she's going to be doing? Yes, she's going to be measuring growth of the plants. And then she's going to be changing the acidity. You can tell just by reading the hypothesis. So that's a good hypothesis in every single point. And that's how you write one. Um, and I hope this was clear enough for you guys. And mm -hmm. next video, we're going to be talking about how to design and set up a good materials and procedures section.